This painting is titled Performance Art for this video because it ended up being owned by the stage manager of the Oklahoma City Repertory Theater in Oklahoma City. The painting's real title is The First Warm Day of Spring. A few years back, I was commissioned by the Oklahoma Repertory Theater to reproduce some Mark Rothko paintings for their production of the stage play Red which is a story about painter Mark Rothko. The story was written by writer John Logan. My wife and I were driven to Oklahoma City by the stage manager to work on the project. We were put up in a gated condo used to house visiting actors when they were performing in Oklahoma City. My wife is my art assistant, at least she was for this job. We dined at some nice restaurants at the expense of our gracious host. We were also paid a flat fee for our work. As you can probably see, I do not paint like Mark Rothko, but I have been influenced by him in a small way. I first became aware of the power of color to affect depth in a painting by viewing a Mark Rothko painting at the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art on a high school field trip. I recall one of my fellow students remarking he could have painted the Rothko painting we were viewing. I replied, yes, but you didn't. I see some evidence of my musing on the effects of color on depth and some notes in one of my pocket sketchbooks from 1984 while I was attending Penn Valley Community College. These musings are my own and were not put forward in any class I was attending. Frankly, I had forgotten about them until I opened my old sketchbook for another painting video on here. Many people are not aware of the fact that Mark Rothko did not just slap one or two simple colors onto his canvases for his paintings. He did a lot of underpainting using several colors that are not readily vi visible to the naked eye. His colors bleed through in a subtle way through varying viewing distances and lighting variances. That is why you see me applying blues and other colors to the painting as an underpainting. Many of the staff of the repertory theater wanted to possess these paintings after the performance, but were not allowed to do so. They are now owned by the Mark Rothko Trust to prevent them from being sold as originals. They are also let out to other performing arts groups for use in their performances of red. My wife Bridget and I worked for two days on the project until it was finished. I was also asked to provide some paintings to be displayed in the lobby of the theater for a reception prior to the show. The reception was for wealthy donors and civic leaders who support the Oklahoma Repertory Theater. My wife and I did not attend, attend the reception. The stage manager for the Oklahoma City Repertory Theater liked this painting, which was in the lobby show, and he ended up owning it. Red opened and did well, I am told. These photos were taken during the performance and are shown courtesy of Moots Photography of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Our thanks to them for permission to use them. The so-called performance art was a lot of fun and a nice break for my wife and I. As a side note, I used to paint stage sets in high school and years later I worked as a stage hand in Kansas City for a while. I've also painted stage sets for a ballet school in Kansas City. Hey, anything for a buck? Well, that about does it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.